Well, a couple of months ago, we did a video on building a road in the woods with a woods grinder, and it would look something like this. But sometimes that doesn't work, and let me show you a situation where it doesn't. We're in a low area on a piece of property here, and if you can see below me is sort of a makeshift bridge that the landowners had to put in because of a, of a wet weather runoff. Now, this isn't a full-time creek, but when it rains, this area gets kind of swampy and a lot of water comes through, and this became a mud hole. I want to show you another thing, too. If you look here, uh, they've had to put some boards in to try to solve this mud problem, and it sort of worked here. But if you come down this way, you can see there's an absolute mud hole that's gotten wallowed out when they've gone back and forth uh, in the truck trying to get in and out. And beyond the mud hole, you can see it's washing a little bit. Well, that's a problem, but it's a problem that can be solved. And if you're a landowner with a mud hole, I'm going to show you how we solved it on this piece of property. Now, that's a road. Let me explain to you what we did here. Uh, this looked just like the other area. In fact, it was worse. A big mud hole down in the middle and two of them, in fact. But what we did here was, if you'll notice, we cleaned the trees out, opened it up a little bit to get some sunlight on the ground. You also, you can't build a road in a swamp. So what we did was built the road up by bringing some dirt in. Uh, we top dressed it with gravel. If you'll notice, there are ditches on both sides of the road so that when the water comes off the road, it's carried away from the road. There's also a culvert in the low spot to get the water that's flowing in to flow out. The point is, is that to keep a road through a low spot, you've got to keep it dry. To keep it dry, you've got to keep the water off of it and away from it and you got to have sunlight to come in and warm it up. That's all it takes. Now, it wasn't cheap. This cost several thousand dollars, but in fact, the value that this road adds to this piece of property more than makes up for the cost of construction. And if you're faced with a problem of a low spot or a wet spot, this is what you need to do. This is the only real way to solve the problem. Remember, the best way to enjoy the outdoors is to actually own a piece of it.